Welcome to Unlock Layouts. In today's video, we are going to discuss the topic of Plasma Etching Part 1. Let's start the video. So here in Plasma Etching Part 1, we are going to discuss and we are going to see what is meant by Plasma and how the Plasma is getting generated from the normal any part of the matter. So plasma is a hot ionized gas consists of approximately equal number of positively charged ions and equal number of negatively charged electrons. So naturally we can generate plasma from any kind of liquid. So the plasma consists of equal number of positive and as well as negative electrons. Okay, Positively charged ions and negatively charged electrons are present equal numbers in plasma. So because of this the plasma is always neutral and it is also called fourth state of matter and other three states are solid, liquid and gas stage. So now here we have a matter, so three states of matter. The first state of matter is a solid form and the second state of matter is a liquid form and third state of matter is a gas form. So apart from these stage we have a fourth state of matter that is called plasma. So whenever the sufficient energy or else temperature applied to any kind of a liquid. So we can convert that liquid to a plasma form. So selectively they are using some liquids to convert for plasma etching process. And now we are going to discuss all those things based on one small video. As we discussed before we have a three states of matter solid, liquid and gas. And we have a fourth state of matter is called plasma. So for example we can take it a ice cube. So ice cube it has a solid form and as well as liquid form. It's a called change of state. So usually we will take a solid form of ice and if you see the molecules inside they are very tightly packed and we are very close enough. So that's why it's having some solid stage and whenever we are taking as a liquid still the molecules are present in the liquid but that is not tightly formed. It is moving around the orbit. So it has some fixed volume so that's why it can accommodate any area. So what is called change of state? The change of state occur when the sufficient heat is applied to any liquid. So now we are heating one liquid for example water. The water is changing from liquid state to gas stage. So that is called water evaporation. And in the gas form also we have still present the molecules but it is moving around the orbit. It's not a stable condition. It's not tightly packed. And after reaching the gas stage still more heat and more energy is applied to the same gas we are getting a new energy form called plasma. So whenever from the gas stage to plasma stage if we want to convert we need a very strong heat energy. If the atoms are get very high energy of heat the atoms will move away from the atom and then it will create one free electron and positive ions. So any plasma will have equal number of positive and negative charges so that's why the plasma is always neutral. So it contains of equal number of positive electrons and equal number of negative electrons. Since the positive electrons are present in the plasma the plasma can conduct but other gas it will not conduct. Because of this free electron state only whenever the lightnings are there it can conduct the electricity from the form of plasma and for best example stars are the best example for plasma. Best example for plasma energy is a tube light. So in everywhere tube light is a form of plasma. So whenever the sufficient energy is applied to the tube light so the energy is splitting the ions and it creating the free electrons and the bulb is getting illuminated. So this is the form of plasma. So in the plasma etching part 1 video I have covered what is meant by plasma and how the plasma is different from a kind of third three stage matters. So based on this so as soon I will do the part 2 video how the plasma etching will take place and what is the difference between wet itch and as well as dry itch. So nowadays every semiconductor industry the lower technology nodes are using plasma related etching only. So based on this video for future we can discuss what is meant by plasma etching. 
I hope I have given some valuable information to you in this video. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please click like button and share this video to your friends. For more details about this video, please contact us to my email ID and follow us on my Facebook page and Twitter page and kindly subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell button.